Hi, this is Dan Smegfrod, founder of the Matterport User Group Forum. I'm in Brunswick, Georgia, and joining us is... Hi, I'm Harlan Hambright. And uh, Harlan's is a member of the Matterport User Group Forum. And uh, so, what do you think of the forum? I love it. It's, I've had, it's, whenever I've had any issues and problems, I've had, it's been easy to find uh, references to them and, sol and solutions sometimes. Some problems are unsolvable, but that's fine. Yeah, it's been great. It's yeah, quite, it's quite a resource. And, and you may know Harlan. He did the St. Simon's Island Lighthouse. So that must have been just a crazy project. Do you want to describe that a little bit? Doing Matterport all the way up a little spiral staircase. Yeah, when, when I first started seeing how the Matterport created the dollhouse, um, and I don't really use the dollhouse that much with, in my real estate stuff, but I. And I've done a lot of, I've photographed the lighthouse a lot. I've done panoramas from the top back using film, if anybody remembers what that yeah, is. Yeah, right, what's film, right? But it occurred to me that a dollhouse view of the lighthouse would be just amazing. And I do work for the Historic Society, which which runs the lighthouse. So they let me Matterport the, the lighthouse, and I did, and it's fascinating. Uh, when you turn the lighthouse around, the dollhouse, it looks like a corkscrew spinning around. Yeah, it's really amazing. And it How really explains the yeah. structure of, of, yeah. of the lighthouse. And it is a fascinating tool for be able, being able to almost x-ray a building to show you how it actually works. Uh, it's, it's cool. The, and then my only issue I had, I got to the top end of the lens room. Yes. It was late afternoon. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it just wouldn't work. And the file returned, it wouldn't, the file returned this black, just total yes. black, and this, it was the sun. And I thought the glass would maybe mitigate that. Yes. But it didn't. So what I'm gonna have to do is coordinate with the Coast Guard, which is in control of the lighthouse, yes. and get them, let the, let, get me up into the thing after the sun goes down. And just they the, ask them to turn it off for a little bit. I mean, yeah, you know, who, boats, who, big freighters who, coming who, in. They, who needs the light? I got GPS. We just hold up our iPhone or something <laughs> with a flashlight setting on it. Right. So that'll be very exciting. You'll actually get to complete a model that you you, you took months and months right. months ago. Yeah, it's been a while. To, to go actually see if you can reattach and and actually get around the lens room. So I, I think I remember like among the first the first days that you actually started uh, join the Matterport user group forum. I think one of your first questions was. Is, is, is this is this all there is to it? You can't control the f-stop. You can't control the shutter speed. You can't control the ISO. So, like, really? How hard could this be? You just kind of move the camera. So, months later, now what's your perspective on being able to control um, I, light and? Right. I've been using HDR for a long time. Yeah. When it, when it first came out, I embraced that because I've always been an available light photographer for forty years now. <clears throat> um, and HDR solved a lot of issues I had back in the old days using the zone system and trying to expand the dynamic range of film. And the way I'm using HDR now with Photomatics is I'm almost being, usually can almost exactly create what the eye perceives in a space. When there's extreme, I do a lot of real estate photography on, on the beach around here live at the ocean and when the sun's out well a, a shot I did today a very large real estate uh, listing that's coming up the interior is very dark and it overlooks the marsh and I waited till the clouds came. it was a very cloudy day today um, kept coming and going um, and the, the in, that side is washed out a little bit but usually, HDR usually can control that pretty well. Yeah, so actually what we're hearing is a, a master photographer, a professional photographer of many, many years, uh, even without being able to control f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, it can control light by when and how you're shooting. Right, and, and, that's and, the only way you can with and, the and, and, and how, how exciting <clears throat> is that 
for you as a photographer to work within the limitations, but to still be able to take advantage of the H HDR in order to figure out like, when is the exact right time to, to shoot this. And I, I would imagine, Harlan, that, that that's going to be pretty important uh, tomorrow, is as I understand it, you have a very large shoot that you'll be doing, a Matterport uh, Spaces 3D tour on... Yeah, yeah, we're on Sea Island. Sea Island. <clears throat> um, but what I was getting to is yeah. that I've been really impressed, <clears throat> even without being able to have any any control over what Matterport does, in all but the extreme conditions, it does a very commendable job of handling the, the light extremes. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, given what it does, Given what the Matterport does, sort of overrides its limitations as far as lighting goes. And even then, if you're in a, <clears throat> if you, the, <clears throat> the lighting gets better as you get closer to a window. And if you're far away from the window, the, what's going on in, outside the window isn't as important. So it, it kind of mitigates itself as you move around the space. Yeah. So I've been really pleased with it despite its limitations and the fact that I can't do stuff with it. Which is still exciting to be able to be limited by the tool, but to figure out how to take advantage of what you can control, uh, which is when and where you're actually shooting uh, within space. Sure. So I, I hope we're lucky enough that Harlan will actually post, perhaps, the very exciting project, not going to go into detail unless he cares to talk about it, but a very exciting project that he's shooting tomorrow. Uh, on Sea Island uh, on the Georgia coast and we'll hope that that ends up uh, uh, in the Matterport user group forum. So we've been speaking with Harlan Hambright and Dan Smakebride, founder of the Matterport user group forum in Brunswick, Georgia. Bye guys. Thanks Dan. Thank you Harlan. Good to meet you. Thank you. Good to see you.